Many years ago, I remember a person would come back from a work situation and tell me about an interaction that she just had with her line manager. She'd be frustrated that what she wanted to say in response to her manager only really came to her once the interaction had passed. You see, this person was an S in DISC style. Her manager was a D. Now, if you know DISC, you'd be able to understand what went on here. You see, the D had a tendency to drop by unannounced, interrupt the S from what she'd been doing, and then make comment on the thing that she wanted to speak about, and then march on to the next task. That tends to be fairly characteristic behavior of that style of person. The S, on the other hand, doesn't like unexpected surprises and likes to prepare for any upcoming interaction. They're also far less likely to voice an opinion that's contrary to what's been shared with them. Why? Because conflict isn't something that they feel comfortable with. And she would overthink and at times become anxious about a situation that perhaps her manager had almost forgotten almost immediately after the interaction. So what do you do? One of the best things that an S can look to develop is assertiveness. Typically, they're a very pleasant, calm, relationship-focused style. So the first thing to say is that you don't have to become a bitch to become assertive. You don't have to swing to the polar opposite style, but you can do assertiveness in your style. The phrase iron fist velvet glove springs to mind here, meaning that you can still make a strong point in a nice way. What this person found to be useful was asking for some time with her manager a week or so into the future. And this gave her time to prepare what she wanted to cover. She was then able to find her words and their examples to support the point that she wanted to make. She stated up front the purpose of calling the session and the ideal outcome that she was hoping to achieve. Because the D was also a decent person, as the conversation unfolded, a level of awareness grew and the misunderstandings and miscommunications could be revisited and clarified. It was a good outcome. The important point here being the S took action. The D would have been oblivious to the impact that they were having and the S would have suffered a buildup of resentment or anxiety if they hadn't taken action to handle the situation. So, what disc style are you and what relationship might benefit from you taking a different approach to your usual? <laughs>